My name is Alex Randall. I am a junior at Pitt. I'm the sports director at WPTS. And welcome back inside WPTS studios in the William Pitt unit. I'm Alex Randall. We have a little bit of a special guest, my boss, Alex Randall. Mm. I was the first black broadcaster in Canadian Hockey League history. Has a man breaking, shoot, scores! Connor Lockhart rips a wrister, and it's My parents didn't have cable TV. They gave us radios in our room and said, hey, if you still want to do something at night, listen to the radio. So one night back in 2012, I was listening to Pirates Phillies. Greg Brown called an, a walk-off infield single by Alex Presley. And he, I just remember thinking to myself, man, this guy just got paid to yell that the Pirates won. I knew right then and there that I wanted to be a broadcaster, and at that point, the rest is history. Yeah, so you are an announcer for CHL. You want to talk a little bit about that? Erie won 6-4. They came back from two goals down twice. Mm -hmm. Super fun to do. If you go back to my roller hockey days, I would try to announce as I was playing, which might have annoyed my brother who was playing goalie. It was, it was definitely a start and a foundation for sure. I just knew I wanted to call live sports. I didn't really know how I was going to be able to do it. So I got an award back in November from Black Play by Play Fun, which was started by Adam Giordano. He reaches out to me with a link from Sean Bednard of the Erie Otters saying he's looking for a black broadcaster who's young, who's excited, and who wants to uh, go do the game on Martin Luther King Day. So it really was a match made in heaven. This was the Canadian Hockey League Game of the Week. I mean, yeah. uh, there's, there's potentially millions of ears that could be listening to that game. And that was a matinee, too. It was an afternoon. It was a matinee on a Monday afternoon where everyone has off for Martin Luther King Day. I do my best not to think about that. Uh, <laughs> our very own Greg Weston here at WPTS talked about, you know, you're, you're talking to one listener. I'm not here. I don't know if I've ever been more nervous to broadcast a game. Welcome to the Erie Insurance Arena, where the CHL TV Game of the Week features a Martin Luther King Day matinee matchup between the Saginaw Spirit and the Erie Otters. I'm Alex Randall, delighted to be here alongside Eric Conwinski. You know, I started off a little sloppy like a lot of people do, and then eventually throughout the game I got better and better. And I think considering it's my first hockey game, considering it's the, the first time I've ever gotten to do that with these teams, you know, I gotta give myself a pat on the back because it could have been a lot worse. I think it was overall pretty well. I know I can do better. Door with Lockhart, down the wing, sends a late man, Saginaw scores! Getting through the first sequences of goals and saves and shots and hits and, and all the things that hockey brings, uh, I think it just slowed me down and settled me. Lockhart has a man breaking, shoots, scores! He passes in front, and there's a goal! Comes in, passes in the front, it's in! Gary Durant tried to make the pass! It hit off the defenseman's skate! The goal that really stood out to me is Ryan Thompson's game-tying goal early in the third. Gates it up ahead and maybe a chance for a two-on-one. I built the play up while it was happening and then he scored right on cue. Thompson gets behind the D, shoots it, scores! Eric, my broadcast partner, pointed out to me that he had zero goals on the season. And so I was able to say it's his first goal of the season, which was, which was a nice moment for sure. Thompson with his first goal of the season! And the Erie Otters have tied it! Everyone who I worked with at Erie was super nice. Uh, Eric was great. Sean was great. It was just a really, really unforgettable day. So there are a lot of professional broadcasters through the Black Play-by-Play -play Funds network of guys like Dave Sims of the Seattle Mariners and then even uh, Everett Fitzu, the first black hockey broadcaster full-time for the Seattle Kraken. Uh, they both reach out to me and they both were really gracious. What does the future hold for Alex Randall? Huh, I think the future is whatever God has in store for me. I, I, I'm hoping a lot of broadcasting, I'm hoping a lot of travel, and I'm hoping a lot of, of joy and 
ability to, to inspire others to, to follow their dreams. But overall, I, it's really whatever whatever's next. I can't express just how awesome this has been. First hockey game, first black broadcaster, and I've said it in a lot of interviews for those of you who have been following this story. I'm glad I'm the first, but the reason I'm glad I'm the first is because I know I won't be the last. It's always good to hear unique perspectives that haven't been heard before, and you know, it doesn't just have to be black broadcasters. It can be Latin broadcasters, it can be Asian broadcasters, it can be um, LGBTQ broadcasters. So I'm just happy to be a small part of what hopefully is a wave of diversity within the sports world. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll get into some Winter Olympics and uh, so much more on your student home for all things Pit Sports, WPTS Radio.